Greetings little viewer, the good tonight here, and today we're doing a review on something caught my eye a few months ago, finally was able to get a hold of it, and I uh, get a little review going, and kind of check it out, and it is the Low Pro Apparel Augmento. So I got chilling up on my M81 booty, this is the M81 style they sell, and what it does, as you can see, is it helps break up the uh, silhouette of the head by adding all the little shadows, little, uh, it's got that crazy sort of polyester water resistant material, sort of chills on your head, and I figured it would be a cool little helmet cover addition. That kind of reminds me, since it helps break up the silhouette of the head and helmet and everything, kind of reminds me of the, uh, was it the Israeli Mitznefet or whatever it's called? So, sort of something like that, but breathable material. So, we're going to pop this off of our boonie cover real quick. It comes right off real easy. So, what it is, is you got all that little fine little material for camouflage purposes. Then you just run some uh, shock cord through it. You got a little, uh, was it a little, I can never remember the name of these things, eyelet shenanigans on the side, so. Yeah, on the bottom it's all brown, but uh, yeah, you got the little colors and everything. So you can slap that up on your helmet or your hat and help break up that a more bulbous and recognizable shape. So you're not as obvious, so not as um, important urban warfare wise because you're usually trying to move as fast and get to the other guy and body armor will help keep you safe. But out in the field, chilling out in the bush, you can see it makes a pretty significant difference by really breaking up the silhouette. So. We see how it works on a hat, works really cool, really sexy, and if it does get caught on a branch or something, it doesn't snap your head back and potentially kill you and give you a horrific neck injury, it just kind of slides off, so. It also has similar problems to the Mitznefet, where it can get uh, tagged and pulled off, so. Not too bad, it is pretty sexy, you can add all your extra stuff in there. It does come with two little mini carabiners and like four zip ties, which I ended up using for some retention purposes instead, so. Those zip ties and everything ended up on my helmet and they'll pull the Hellstar in place so it doesn't go flying away, so. Retention! So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our helmet here. We're gonna pop our ear pro down here. Keep it safe and out of the way. So we do have some accessories and little capabilities and stuff mounted onto our uh, lid here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off our bit here. We're gonna leave the hat off for a second. But what we can do is we're gonna slide that part back under there. We're gonna start working this cabling around, so. We need to go Keep the ear pro in a safe place. There's little, uh, little uh, recessions down here underneath the mount. So what we can do is we can actually slide the uh, cable, the uh, shock cord through there. Probably keep it free up in the front a bit. It's probably be easier if I made it looser, huh? Uh, slide that up under there. Kerchink. And we're gonna leave it back here just a bit so we can still mount in our nods and everything. But if we're not using them, it's an easy pullover situation. So yeah. We've now broken up the very bulbous shape of the helmet, and yeah, we got a lot more camouflage. So we still have access to our light. We want to make sure that pops through. We still want to have access to our eye pro, so we can keep our uh, eyeballs nice and safe. So we can still turn on our light, still make sure everything's going well. Yeah, so we still have light access. We got our ear pro, and yeah, so still turn on our Hellstar. Hellstar still works. All right, excellent. So we got all the things we need. So now when we go out into the bush, out into the uh, the shrubbery, if you will, we'll actually blend in a bit. So we can actually slide down our ear pro. Bam! Yeah, we are camouflaged. So I'm gonna pop this up, and I have the batteries in here right now. So you pop those up there. So yeah, when you're out in the bush and you're hanging out and like spying on people, you got your extra camouflage. So you're not gonna be as readily visible. So it's not a full ghillie suit, it's not the uh, cry half jacket, but it is a little bit to help keep your, uh, keep your head out of the uh, enemy's crosshairs. Or at least, out of the trigger pull, because, you know, cover, concealment. Separate and not equal entities. So, yeah, that's a really cool, I really like this design. It was really cool to see how it was going to work, and how it was going to look. So yeah, it's still going to work, if it gets snagged. Probably going to all that, this material. Be mostly waterproof means if it rains, the helmet outside of the mesh parts is going to get a bit heavier from the water, but the mesh and the uh, this is all not isn't going to add any weight from the extra rainwater or anything crazy. So, yeah, really cool. Um, the earpods obviously still going to stand out. I got to get some uh, cover or camo tape and stuff for that. So, yeah, it's just really cool. I really like the way it breaks up the uh, silhouette of the helmet, it makes you uh, blend in just a little bit better. And of course, it's literally just shot cord. It's super simple. If it gets snagged, how bad is it going to pull? It's probably going to bust up our light. Let's see. It was, uh, we got branch. Wild branch is my pinky. Catches here. 
uh, it's going to suck a bit. So you might get caught up in some branches is the only downside, but if we loosen this up a wee bit, if we don't retain it underneath there, we leave it a bit looser than when it gets snagged. The peel off. So yeah, it's going to get snagged on something, almost for sure, it seems. But it's not too terrible. Of course, it pops right off in seconds, and you're back to a uh, slick dome. So, yeah. So, I was just really cool. To, I just, really, I just thought it was really, really cool in concept. Of course, you don't even have to wear it on a hat. You can throw it over your face, and you can uh, remind people that you live in their walls and you watch them. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, swamp thing. Yeah, swamp thing. So yeah, the more camouflage you have, the more the slides. If you have, wrap your face in a uh, so that little sniper mesh sort of ordeal, you'll get better camouflage when you throw this over it. And of course, you can always add foliage and detritus and all that random stuff to it to make it blend in better. But yeah, really lightweight, weighs effectively nothing, looks really cool, and it's like 23 bucks. So, you know, plus shipping, of course. And while you're at it, you've got to buy the stickers. The stickers are too cool not to buy anyway, but there haven't been any reviews on it that I had been aware of, so... I like to hopefully think that I'm getting up the first review that you're going to see. So that's what I got for you guys. Really, really cool. Simple. You can throw on hats, helmets, your bare head, beanies, um, pretty much anything you really want to. This is a really cool, really useful piece of gear. So I'm getting my hands freaking Chinese finger trapped up in here. So cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous, and uh, I will see you. But you probably <laughs> won't see me. Cheers, everyone. See you later.